Arg, ahoy, mateys, and welcome back to another episode of Out of the Park Baseball 25 on the SS Pittsburgh Pirates. We be Captain Jack Sparrow, and we are ready for a couple series. We're going to round out April. I'm going to drop the pirate accent. We're going to see how things go here. Uh, probably just a business as usual episode here. I was right before this episode. First of all, I made my Captain Jack Sparrow avatar. That's the best I can do right now. Sorry. It's a little, he's like a sad Captain Jack Sparrow. The facial hair is clearly not as cool as it should be, but he's like Captain Jack Sparrow during a uh, defamation trial or something like that. <clears throat> Uh, meanwhile, we got series against Milwaukee coming up and then at San Francisco. We'll play through both of those and then we might just simulate or play the Oakland one depending on how fast these first few games go. But I want to get through April here. Just a couple housekeeping notes before we get too far, though. Um, looking back at some of our top prospects, I like the progression of Paul Skeens and Jared Jones. And if our pitching right now, which as you can see is pretty terrible, Specifically, Eric Lauer, who I mentioned, is probably the first on the chopping block to go. If we switch back to a five-man rotation here, he'll probably move to the bullpen as a long relief option. Um, we also are having bad performances from Luis Ortiz. Marco Gonzalez and Martin Perez aren't absolutely terrible, but I'd like to see more from them. But this is giving us opportunity to see Skeens and Jared Jones get called up, and I think uh, by the end of this year, both of them might. We also might give Bailey Falter an opportunity the next time uh, Lauer comes into the rotation. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now. We're going to make him long relief and make him an emergency starting pitcher. And uh, let's see where this takes us. Going into this next game, our bullpen is very dire. So we're going to have to be very careful about how this goes. We're going up against um, Wade Miley here, who is 0-3, but he is not um, having a particularly bad year. I think his ERA is like around 4 point something. He's just not getting a lot of run support. So let's see how this goes. Um, I believe this is our first divisional game, and it is against the second best team in the division, a team who won two out of three against Chicago in their last series. And we're going to have four in a row all at home. So this first one's going to be big for us. Look at the comparison on paper here. Uh, looks like a pretty strong edge for Pittsburgh, which I'm surprised about. And we have Ronzi Contreras, who's been, um, if not our second best pitcher, our best pitcher uh, this year behind um, Wade Keller, so let's hopefully see how things go here. I think I might take Connor Joe out of the starting lineup here. Let's see what my options are. Can anyone else play first base? Triola plays third. It's all second, third, and short. Keep Brian Hayes, I think, is third exclusive. Jake Lamb can play first base. How does he hit against lefties? Not great. Rowdy Telez. We went through this a little bit. So certainly not terrible, but not great either. Let's give Connor Joe the chance to hit out of this slump. We'll give him a few at-bats, and if he's doing outright terrible, we'll swap him out. Let's go ahead and start this game. Back in PNC Park, we got rookie sensation Jackson Choro up. I'm sure I butchered that name. Hoping he has a uh, good season IRL because he's on my fantasy baseball team. <clears throat> and that is a little Texas leaguer out in the left. Lead off single. He's got good wheels. Let's see if he steals here. He does, or he attempts to, and he beats it out. Saw that coming. 1-1 one, one count to Frelick. That looks like it will also fall in, and 
think Chorio might be able to score on that, but because he had to hold, it's not going to come to fruition. One, two count to Garrett Mitchell, and that is going to be an opposite fielder. Sacrifice, but it's a ground to a double play. So, not a terrible result, given that at bat. Reese Hoskins up here, and I think that should be out number three. It is. Brian Reynolds gets to it. So, could have been worse, but could have been better. Let's see if we can get something going in our direction. Eddie Olivares to lead things off. Been a decent leadoff batter for us so far this season. That is right up the middle for a single. So tit for tat on that one. Maybe we'll try and send him. But Gary Sanchez is a better catcher than Henry Davis. And we do have a lefty on the mound. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult. O'Neal Cruz up. And... Right to first base, one down, but he does advance the runner. So we do have a runner in scoring position now with Andrew McCutcheon batting three. And that, I think, is going to fall in. That should be an RBI double, it looks like. Right down the line off that uh, sweet, sweet advertisement for one of my favorite companies out there, Gasoline. Make sure to buy your gasoline at Gasoline. Proud sponsor of the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, Brian Reynolds up, and that is not a good use of Brian Reynolds. That's two down. Still got a runner in scoring position, though. Let's see if Henry Davis can do anything. Been our best hitter so far this season. I guess second best behind O'Neill Cruz. Not the best right there. And that's down, but we do come out of the first, tied back up. Basically like a 0, zero ball game all over again. All right, Contreras gets his first strike out of the game there. J.D. Davis, who did not sign with the Milwaukee Brewers in real life. That's strike three. So that's two for Contreras now. And gets him, so strikes out the side. Good top of the two for Contreras. Let's see if Wade Miley has the same luck or if we can do something here. Keep Brian Hayes. So that's four strikeouts in a row between both teams. Connor Joe not going to fall in. First, I thought that might, but just stayed in there a little too long. Josh Palacios, who had a great start since his call up, but has cooled down since. Rounds out to end the second. Contreras to Gary Sanchez, and that's four strikeouts in a row for Contreras now. Joey Ortiz, full count coming, and that is strikeout number five. Wow, so he's got the cannon going right now, getting him swinging and missing. Chorio right up the middle. That is going to be a ground out, and... Contreras settling into a groove now after those first two at-bats. Nick Gonzalez grounds out over to first to start the bottom of the third. Wade Miley back to Oliveris, who had that single in the first. And that is going to be an out. A little dinger right out to foul territory. That's just the only pitch right there. O'Neill Cruz, I think he... I know he grounded out and advanced to the runner in his first. I thought he struck out for a second, but... Nothing doing there, so another 1-2-3 inning, and... Still tied at one. Two hits piece. So Sal Frelick back up. 3-1 count, and that is going to be into center. And Palacios does not have it. I think if we had Sawinski out there, that might have been an out. Hopefully that doesn't lead to trouble. 1-0 count to Garrett Mitchell. And that is in the opposite field. Great play by Brian Reynolds. It's one down. And here comes Reese Hoskins. Full count. Struck out. And I think we got him. Great way to end that inning. Only one hit since the first. Since 
or sense the first for Contreras and got out of it with a nice assist from Henry Davis. So strikeout for McCutcheon there after the RBI in the first. Brian Reynolds up now. 1-0 count, and that I think will hang up. Yes, it does. Routine fly ball to Garrett Mitchell. Henry Davis now. Two outs, no one on. Let's see if we can hit a home run here. I'm feeling good about this. Uh, walk. It's one of the true three outcomes, right? Walk, home run. Basically the same thing. And keep Ryan Hayes right up to short. That'll end the inning. So through four, still tied 1-1. One, one. Both pitchers doing well. Um... Neither lineup doing great, but they've had their moments. Contreras with a walk there, which isn't great. Let's see what J.D. Davis does here. 1-1 one, one count. He's going to sacrifice him over, and that will be successful. A little bit of small ball here. We have Dunn, Sanchez, and Ortiz coming up, so I feel comfortable with this. Let's go ahead and just pitch away. And that's a ground out on the 3-1 count. With a runner at third and two outs. Should be able to just put Gary Sanchez away there. And he does. Another strikeout for Ronzi Contreras. Great performance through five for him. Connor Joe up. If he doesn't get a hit here, we'll probably sit him in his next at bat. And that is not a hit. So Tough start to the year for Connor. Palacios back up. He is going to get a four-pitch walk. Wade Miley, 55 through four and a third. We could be doing better with our patience at the plate here. Gonzalez, a little fly out to second base, which puts Olivares up. And that's going to be it out. All right. So survives the walk, and we are still knotted up 1-1 one, one after 5. Um, Miley looks like the better of the two pitchers just because he's been a little bit more efficient. But 7 strikeouts through 5 is not bad for Contreras. 1-0 <clears throat> count to Ortiz here, and that's a ground out over to 3rd. Good start. This will probably be it for Contreras. This inning, I should say. Not going to get the strikeout there. Instead, Chorio gets on base for the second time today. And let's throw it first. And keep him honest over there. Two two count. And that's the strikeout we were looking for. Here at Mitchell up. One, two count. We've kept Chorio over at first, and that will be the strikeout to end the inning. So nine strikeouts through six for Contreras. That will probably be it for him. In the bullpen, I I mean, it makes the most sense to go with Lauer here. We could go with Holderman. Um, we have a string of righties coming up. Let's get both of them going just to be safe. We'll see what happens here. O'Neill Cruz to lead off the bottom of the sixth. Full count. And that will be contact up to center field. Easy grab. That's one down. 2-2 two -two count to McCutcheon. And that makes it through. Second hit of the game for Andrew McCutcheon. Probably not going to be able to make that into two bags. But let's see what Brian Reynolds can do here. He has not been very good for us in the Sims. That will continue here. I think that's going to be a double play. It is. Womp womp. All right. So Miley keeps his stuff going. Um, I think we're going to put Holderman in. As much as it pains me to have Contreras lose that game because he was performing so well. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and sit Lauer down. All right. One, two count. Starting off the top of the seventh. And that makes it through. Wow. So 
Not ideal at all. Let's see if Holderman can get out of this jam. Wow. Going for the steal. Very surprising. Easy play. And he's going to follow it up with a walk. Yep. Saw that three balls up there and just knew a walk was coming. J.D. Davis up here. He's been not too great today. Wow. Another steal attempt. So they're really pressing me here. All right. So it gets out of 2-0 to 2-2. But that's through the middle. J.D. Davis, I think, is going to get the go-ahead RBI there. And Holderman gets the blown save. Oliver Dunn up. 2-2 two, two count. Punches him out. And full count to Gary Sanchez here. Ooh, that I think is a home run. That is a home run. <clears throat> so Holderman gives up all the good work that Contreras did. And the three runs top of the seventh. And that will almost certainly be his last batter of the game. Not that I expected much differently, but I was hoping for a better result. Henry Davis to lead off the top of the seventh. The volume in the game got really weird there. Ground out. Wade Miley to keep Brian Hayes. And another ground out. Wade Miley is really doing work here. 85 pitches through seven. Brought that ERA down a whole run, unless Connor Joe can do some good stuff here. We'll give him one last swing at the plate. Full count. Takes the... Oh, I thought he took the walk. What a delayed strike three. I wish you had like a charge the the mound or not charge the mound uh complain to the home plate umpire as the manager of the game i'd do that right now all right so i forgot to get eric lauer going again so we'll start this off and just let holderman i guess pitch to one more i'm sure this will be terrible Ooh. looked good off the bat but then hung up Alvarez gets it at the warning track, and we're just going to have to put Lauer in now, which is fine. This is a disaster. Full count to Frelick, and that makes it through. Jeez. Some of the animations in this game make it tough to watch. Wow, so 0-2. He did make good contact. I was afraid that was going to be a double in the gap, but good play by Olivares out there. Reese Hoskins here takes the walk. Thinking about what our options are here. Strikes him out. Good job by Lauer there. Could have been a lot worse. So Wade Miley is still in there. Let's be a selective here. I'm just going to, I'm trying to get something going here. Strike to start. Grounds out to short. We have not been able to get anything going since the first. Taylor Clark coming in. I kind of want to sit Nick Gonzalez here, but I want to make sure I have someone who can play second. And I don't know if I do off the top of my head here. Yeah, unfortunately, I think that's one thing I do need to address. I don't have any depth at second base right now, really. I was thinking about calling uh, Bay up. I think that's a double in the gap. Olivares might have speed enough to turn that into a triple. But no, it's just going to be a double. <clears throat> but not bad. Two outs. Put a runner in scoring position and see what you can manufacture here. And that gives us an opportunity for O'Neill Cruz. And I think that is a home run. No. 
Oh, that was so close. We still would have been down, but it would have been something, right? All right, so I guess Lauer will just uh, finish this out for us, most likely. <laughs> I just don't want to burn out my bullpen here. So it gets the strike out there. Two two count to Sanchez. You really broke the game open with that two run homer in the seventh. But grounds and do double play there, so I guess you can live with that when you've hit a two run home run to cement your lead. Devin Williams, who is not healthy in real life, will probably kill us right now. Full count to Andrew McCutcheon to lead off the ninth. Let's get our rally caps on, guys. Walk to start. I like that. I do like that. All right, let's see what Brian Reynolds can do here. I'm feeling good about this. Ooh, another walk. I was waiting for that late strikeout call. All right, Henry Davis up. Debating if I want to put in a pinch hitter here, but I'm going to let him swing away. I feel good about this. And, of course, why would I feel good about that? Key Brian Hayes up, 2-2 two -two count. Another strikeout, and it was all up to not Connor Joe. It was all up to Rowdy Telez. He's been very good in similar-ish situations, so I feel like this could have good dividends. Let's see if we can will this home run into existence to tie the game. So not a home run. It will just be a single. That will load the bases up, give me... A lot of false hope here for Josh Palacios. Bases loaded, two outs, one strike, grounds out to end the game. So we made it interesting, but not interesting enough. Just our second simulated loss of the season, I think, or not simulated, played loss of the season. Um, Wade Miley, clearly the player of the game there. But um, we'd have to be happy with the performance from Contreras for sure, just not enough hitting um, when five of your um, or two, four of your five hits come between just two players and the fifth one comes from a pinch hitter, you're not going to win a lot of ball games that way. So uh, let's take actually a quick look at our second base situation here. Um, if we check out what's going on. Double A, Alcantara could get called up. G1, Bay could get called up. I'm leaning to Bay, um, especially because he has the center field eligibility too, so he's a little bit more versatile there. Alcantara can play second and short. He's a switch hitter, which is good. He's been very good. 346 with a 907 OPS. I'm going to give him the first chance, especially since he's got that nice little uh, green arrow next to his name, which means he's ready to make the call. Um, but we are going to have to call someone down. I'm not 100% sure who I want that to be right now. I'm leaning to Brent Honeywell. Um, I'm just going to throw him on the IL. Um, cheat the system a little bit since he is injured. Technically, it counts, right? Um, we'll call Alcantara up, and then one last thing. I will ask my um, AI to complete my minor league system just to let that see what happens. I'm curious if Tamar Johnson gets called up. It did not look like it. He's still... Down in A plus, did Skeens or Jones get called up? So Skeens got called up to Triple A. So we'll take note of that. Um, Jared Jones is still down here, and let's simulate the rest of this series and see see what we got going on. Um, go ahead. 
did simulate through the game against Ray. That was a loss 0-3, so another terrible hitting performance. We only got three hits in this one. One from McCutcheon, one from Reynolds, one from Gonzalez, Martin Perez. Not a bad pitching performance, but you're not going to win with three hits. Next up, I think, is Keller versus Peralta. Another loss and another bad pitching performance. Or Sorry, not pitching performance, hitting performance. This is actually Marco Gonzalez. Again, not a terrible pitching job, but... Man, we out-hit them, too, so that's extra unfortunate. I'd love to see how unclutch some of our guys were in that situation. Triello had the opportunity at shortstop in that one. All right, so let's see. This last game against Milwaukee could be a terrible division sweep for us, and it is, and we got obliterated in this one. Judas goes five and two-thirds and only gives up one run. Meanwhile, Bailey Falter... Um, gives up nine. Only three were earned. Who's the guy committing all these errors out here? O'Neill Cruz, Rowdy Telez, and Nick Gonzalez all had errors in this game. It's absolutely terrible, and it was just bad from the start. So what, I'm guessing only the runs in the first inning were earned? Oh, man. So that's a tough series to go down. Let's see what this um, series against the Giants looks like. Really quickly, we'll take a look at the league standings here. We've fallen from third to fourth in the division standings. After that one, Milwaukee stay in pace with the Cubs, both of them on four games winning streaks. We're on an eight-game skid right there. That's rough. The Giants right now currently second in their division, 14 and 12. They'd be third in our division. And we're going to go up against Jordan Hicks to start this one out, a retooled closer. As you can see, based on this, the Giants are apparently much better than we are. Um, McCutcheon's hurt here. He's day-to-day -day with a sore ankle. I think I'm just going to um, sub him out, um, debating who I want to do there. I'm going to throw Rowdy Telez in as the DH. Going to put Alcantara in just trying to figure out where I want to throw him. And I guess I'll throw him in at second in place of Nick Gonzalez since he's tired. Um, Palacios, Connor Joe in left. where some of our defensive depth is going to come up lacking. I'll play first and third. I guess we'll see where this takes us. I have Connor Joe hitting in the nine slot here. Actually, I have him hit in the eight slot. Um, and the Giants pitcher is, uh, was Jordan Hicks, right? So he's a righty. So I like the lefty center there. I think I'll go ahead and leave this as my lineup. And, man, Olivares is really dropping the ball there. I'm just going to do a couple small changes. Looking at those batting averages, this is not a great... We're starting to drop real fast. We have Luis Ortiz on the mound. I'm actually going to switch that to Mitch Keller. And see where we go here. All right, so Hicks to start things out here at Oracle Park. There's that terrible camera angle. It's already a 1-2 count, so I'm expecting bad things to happen here. I like that OTP logo out there in right field in foul territory. That's pretty snazzy. And ooh! So not a strikeout, actually. A nice little bloop in single to start the game for Palacios. And I'm going to be aggressive. We're going to steal. And no, we're not. We're going to get a guy to throw to first. Keep Brian Hayes up. 
That's a strikeout. Now let's try that steal attempt again. I think he got it. Yes, he did. So there you go. Be aggressive. And there you go. I think that might net us a run. There you go. Playing aggressive, getting a run, manufacturing runs. That's what I like to do. And that is an errant throw that will advance O'Neill Cruz up to second and allow Rowdy Telez to do absolutely nothing with that. All right, so two outs there. Hoping for a better result. Eddie Oliveira is up. And that, ooh, that's going to be close, but I think it's an out. Ooh, it does fall in. Apparently not enough to send O'Neill Cruz home, though. Which is kind of surprising. Grandal with a full count. And he will walk the bases loaded. All right. So already 25 pitches um, for Hicks. So at the very least, that's a good net result. Full count, bases loaded, near the warning track, but not far enough for Jake Lamb. A dramatic top of the first for the Giants there. The Pirates did net one, so I like that. And let's see if we can have better luck than Jordan Hicks did on the mound. And put these guys down one, two, three. Ten pitches or less, that's what I'm looking for. Strikeout by Mitch Keller to start. Puts down Estrada. Here comes Matt Chapman. That's a strikeout. And Jung Hu Lee. The something wind of South Korea. More like the ground out to end the inning. Am I right? All right. So good start to the game, compare, especially compared to our last one. Connor Joe, that's going to be to the track. Not far enough, though. We're making good contact. Making Hicks look foolish. Or at least so far, making Hicks look foolish. And apparently not foolish enough. That's three down. We didn't really make him use that many pitches that inning either. So quite disappointing. We did get under 10 pitches in that inning, though, which is great, especially if you get two strikeouts out of that. Interesting hit straight to key Brian Hayes. That's one down to start the inning. Full count here to Yastrzemski, and he strikes out. We're at 20 pitches now. Make that 22 with the... And that's going to drop in. So Lamont Wade Jr. gets on with a two-out single. Omar Flores up hitting in the seventh slot, and he strikes out with the full count. Not a bad inning. Could have been better, but no runs. I'll take that any day of the week. All right, Key Brian Hayes starts the top of the third with a leadoff out. Full count to O'Neill Cruz, and that's going to be a ground out as well. Got that pitch count up to around 50 through three, though, which is great. But a one, two, three inning for Hicks, nonetheless. Did make him work a little harder in this third than the second. Sometimes that's all you can hope for. All right, lead off. First pitch out for Nick Ahmed. Patrick Bailey up. I'm hoping this is a strikeout. It is. Pitch goes wild, though, but Henry Davis throws him out. And Estrada back up. One, two count. He struck out, I believe, in his first at bat. We'll make that strikeout number two. So Keller's looking sharp, at least. Keller's looking sharp. Contreras is looking sharp. Bailey Falter can get some guys to play defense for him. Maybe he'll look sharp. It has become night. He has Manny Grandal up. One strike. Grounds out over to first. This might be a double play. It's not. They just get the lead runner. Jake Lamb had good contact in his last at bat. That time he gets no contact. He just watches it go by. 
just like his career, just watching it go by, nothing happening. Connor Joe ends the inning with an easy ground out to second, and we have clearly been the better hitting team, but we only have one run to show for it, and those are the kinds of games that clench my stomach up into knots because those are usually the games you end up letting slip away. So Lee hit it almost in the exact same spot, but that time it goes through. One out single. I'm going to throw to first just to keep him honest. Can never be too safe. A one count. Grounder over to third. Key Brian Hayes puts him away. Show off that gold glove, young man. All right, here comes Mike Yastrzemski. I believe he struck out in his last at bat as well. Ooh, that time. It's beaned in the arm. Montway Jr. did get a hit last time. That might be another hit. No, I think that's going to hold up. It does. Palacios gets to it, and we are scoreless. Or we've held them scoreless, I guess. Through four. Kind of rough inning for Keller there, though. Strikeout for Alcantara. Full count to Palacios. And he'll take the walk. Might send him on a steal again. That's how we got it going last time, right? Just make something happen. We're going to take a pitch here. That's a strike. Curveball right down the middle. And strikes him out. One more stolen base attempt, and he is in there. All right, so let's see what O'Neill Cruz can do this time. I think that's another RBI. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So RBI double there for O'Neill Cruz Jr. Or I keep junioring him for some reason. I think it's because I'm used to Jose Cruz Jr. So I hear that Cruz. All right, full count to Telez. I apologize sincerely to O'Neill Cruz Jr. I did it again. Jeez, man. Every time I do the O'Neill Cruz Jr., you got to thumbs down me, I guess. That's my punishment. All right, so minute first and second here. Eddie Oliveira's up. One, two count. And that is going to be an RBI single, I think. Cruz should be able to get home on that, and he does. Perfect. So when he didn't do it the last time, does it that time. Keep the pressure up. Grandal up. And that, I think that's going to hang up. It does. When it came off as bad, I was really hoping for a double in the gap, but just hung up too long. We do plate two, though, which is great. Push that lead even farther. Let's see what Keller can do here. Needs to dispatch these guys quickly, if possible. And this is the complete opposite of what I need him to do here. So there's going to be the first out of the inning and should not be anywhere near far enough to sacrifice Flores over. He's a bad runner, too. So we're not in the worst situation ever, but when you put two guys on to load the bases with walks, you got to wonder. Let's look at our bullpen here and see what's going on. Um, I guess I'll get Barucki going, even though he's cold. They do have a slew of lefties coming up, and we're going to visit the mound. Seems fine. If Chapman gets on here, yeah, we're just going to have to pull him. That's three walks this inning. It's completely unacceptable. And everything could go sideways here. But let's hope for the best. Yep. <sighs> that was a playable ball, too. I think that's the most heartbreaking thing about that. All right. So the game is now tied. And Solaire has come in to pinch hit. 
And he will get the successful sacrifice to put the Giants in the lead. Four to three. Barucki does strike out Yastrzemski, though, and tough, tough fifth inning for us. Amir Garrett pitching to Jake Lamb here. 2-2 count and another strikeout for Jake Lamb, which is kind of what I was expecting there. Hopefully Connor Joe gets a walk here, and he does. Let's see if Al Kantara can get his first pitch. That's a no-no. And a wild pitch to Palacios. Advances Connor Joe, at least into scoring position here. That's going to be close, but I think it's an out. And it is an out. Good grab by Jorge Soler. Love to see him do that in real life. And so things continue to look dire for Pittsburgh. And this is what I was talking about with the... You know, you got to put your foot on their throats I guess we we were outplaying them up until the bottom of the fifth there and then everything went sideways because we were not aggressive enough and we're in a rough situation now with the reliefs pitching I guess I gotta get Mladinsky and Chapman going just in case we're gonna have to get Barucki pitching for a while here at least strikes out one to start floor is up Got a slew of righties ahead of him here. But he puts down his first, which is good. Nick Ahmed up. Luckily, it's the back end of the lineup. And that is going to fall in. So that's rough if you go to a full count and still surrender a hit. Another full count. And that should be an out. Palacios gets to it, and we get through that. Dangerous, dangerous. Six inning. Sit those guys just so I don't overwork their arms. Let's see if it's going to be a battle of the bullpens here. My money would be on the Giants. But you never know. O'Neill Cruz has had a good game thus far, but that was not it. Roddy Telez, 1-2 count. And that's going to go opposite field to the warning track, but not far enough again. It's been a stiff night for baseballs here in San Francisco. All right, so Baraki's arm is falling off here, right? Get Ladinsky in. Face these righties. Since it's the bottom of the seventh, the sound has to die again. Curious if that comes up on the uh, recording here. <clears throat> Makes it so much more dramatic, though. So a one-out single for Matt Chapman. jung Hu Liu has clearly been the best hitter of the game so far. Got the big RBI push in the fifth for them. We'll ground out up to O'Neill Cruz there. Jorge Soler up now. One, two, count. And gets that strikeout. So Mladinski gets through it. Three, seven. We're down still just one. Luke Jackson coming in for the Giants now. And here comes the OO pitch. Ground out. One away. Easy, easy, easy. You know, it's Manny Grindel, so complete opposite. Full count here, and that is... Ooh, he's charging in there. Lee gets to it. Jake Lamb, one and two. He struck out twice. Make that three times. Jeez. Nothing to be too happy about there. All right. So we'll keep Mladinski in. We'll kind of need him to at this point. He just needs to eat up time and hopefully not give up any runs. I think that's going to be an out. Another hit out into left field that just dies before the warning track. The theme of the day. And a strikeout. So Mladinski has a great eighth at the very least. I'll get Chapman going again just in case. Camilo Duvall has come in for the 
save here. I'm debating if I want to sit Connor Joe. My substitution options are not great. I do have Jared Triolo. I don't think I have any lefties on the bench. I do have Brian Reynolds, who's a switch hitter. Just going to let him hit away and see what happens. This could be another four-pitch walk to Connor Joe. At least he's exhibiting good plate discipline. That's his second walk of the game. Let's see what Alcantara can do. One, two, count, and that's a strikeout. Jeez. So a tough game for him after his call-up. One, one count to Palacios, and that's going to be out number two. And do I want to put in a pinch runner is the question here. I'm just going to send Connor Joe. <laughs> that didn't work out. Strike one, two. All right. Two, two count. Cabrian Hayes makes it. Gets it through. That's going to put O'Neill Cruz up. So it's interesting, at least. I don't think Connor Joe. Oh, wow. He did make it, and we are tied up. That's shocking. Does that turn into a triple out of nowhere? You guys really got to work on the camera angles, I'm telling you. Full count to O'Neill Cruz, and he walks into Rowdy Telez, so this could be huge here. I'm really debating sending O'Neill Cruz. I think he's got this as an easy stolen base. I'm going to do it. Yeah, they're just going to let him go. Smart. Smart decision. Oh, <coughs> and Telez struck out. That's rough. I was really hoping for some magic there. All right, so let's see how long this goes. Roldis Chapman coming in. Bottom of the ninth. We've tied the game up. Anything is possible. Hope is alive. And the Giants get the lead off single. Of course they do. All right, Roldis Chapman. Don't fail me now. This is going to be a walk. Oh, boy. All right, one-two count to Estrada, and that's the game. Oh, that was an assist. Holy moly. Oh, I got two ahead of myself. Great assist by Oliveris there. And that's going to be an out. No, that is not an out. Wow, so I'm not reading the ball well at all right now. That's loaded. The base is up for Lee. 2-2 two, two count. Struck him out. Holy smokes. All right. 1-2 count to Soler. Is this going to be another strikeout for Soler? Nope. But he does ground out, and we get out of the jam. So we're going to extras. Extra, extra. Read all about it. All right. And I am actually... Can I not? We're going to get Luis Ortiz warming up. Um, kind of don't want to have to go to Bednar if I don't have to. Let's see how this goes. So we got Telez up at second, Oliveris up. I'd like to have a faster runner there, but I'm not going to take Telez out. Just to get a faster runner in the 10th. Because if it does come to it, we'll need him later. Two straight away shots out to center field. And Jake Lamb had an opportunity to redeem himself, but not that time. At least he didn't strike out, I guess. But not a good top of the 10th at all. Um... Chapman is tired, and this is a full count. And he walks Yaz. So, yeah, I think we just got to go. Yeah, we're going to go with Ortiz here and hope for the best. 1-0 count, so contact will be made here. It looks like it could be a double play, and it is. Woo! 
Alcantara even doing like the cool jump and throw there. That was fun. Wilmer Flores up. Was a hero in the fifth, but not in the tenth. Ortiz gets through it. All right, Connor Joe up. We have another terrible runner up at first or at second right now. And this won't be a walk, nor will it be a hit. Connor Joe goes down. All right, Sergio Alcantara. Oh, this could be a walk here. Yeah, there you go. So we do have two men on now. Not that it matters a great deal here. Palacio strikes out. And it is all up to Key Brian Hayes, who was the hero, one of the heroes, I guess, in the ninth inning. Uh, that's going to be an out. Not a hero in the 11th. But at least we have a guy who can eat some innings here in Ortiz. He's just not good. So... Keeps the runner up at second. Puts him away. Tom Murphy up now. 1-0 count. And I think that's an out. It is. Good play by Connor Joe. Estrada. 2-2 two -two count. Game on the line. Strikes out. And we are going to 12. So you'd think uh, having a guy in second to start every inning would be helpful. But apparently not today. All right, Taylor Rogers pissing to O'Neill Cruz Jr., the big hero of the day. And he will advance Key Brian Hayes, so at least we got that going for us. And on that note, I'm actually going to get Bednar warming up just in case. Righty to Les, 1 2 count. I think this is a strikeout, and it is not. That's an RBI single, so we go ahead. Good idea to get Bednar warming up, I guess. All right, so strikes out there, and Grandal will probably get out here, but anything's possible. But apparently, not that much of anything. So we're up going into the 12th. I almost want to keep Luis Ortiz in because I'm so afraid what's going to happen if Bednar blows the save. But we'll put Bednar in, even though he's a little tired. Starts with a walk. And a Lee. That goes through. Base is loaded, and this is going to be tough. Infield. Do infield in. I cannot afford. Get that out of home. There you go. And we got the double play. So that's huge. That is exactly what I was hoping for in that situation. And Bednar just has to put one guy away. And that guy right now is going to be Mike Yastrzemski. But I'm going to intentionally walk him to face someone not as good. David Villar will come in to pinch hit. And that is going to be the game, folks. What a comeback victory for the Pittsburgh Pirates. What an up-and-down game that was. But we do it in 12. Bednar with the save. Ortiz comes in with the relief victory. And look at that fun graph there at the, in the extra innings there. Great game for O'Neill Cruz. Um, Mitch Keller... Had some stuff to be desired at the mound, but did okay. It was really those walks in the fifth that kind of blew everything up. But I think that's a great way to end this video, just to leave it on a nice high. We break our eight-game losing streak with a win. Um, and I don't think, I think I'll save the simulated games for the Giants for another time, as well as the Oakland games, uh, because I like... I like that we ended on that win there. So um, as always, thank you guys for watching this Pittsburgh Pirates out of the park baseball 25 series. Hopefully you guys are enjoying things. Leave comments if you'd like to see anything specific moving forward, but we'll try and keep simulating these games. Um, hopefully we'll be through I'm hoping to play things a little bit faster. We might do two games in a series or we might do one and um, 
five sims moving forward just to kind of chew through the season a little bit faster but still give us the the uh, relationships that we're building with these players over the course of 162 game season so thank you for watching and uh, see you next time